The next question is a photo question. This is a real simple question to configure, and here you ask your students to answer with a picture. Just click on it and configure your question. My question here is, take a hike in nature, beware of your environment. Add a picture that proves a wild animal has been there. This can be a nest, animal tracks or feces. I'm going to add the height of the picture your students can add to book with chats. You can read here below that this should be a value between 250 and uh, 722. Uh, of course, the weight is computed automatically. I think it's best to just leave it like this. Students can add one picture to this question. This question is not automatically gradable because, of course, every single student will add a different picture. In that case, you could add a rationale or an explanation that students will see when you chose to immediately uh, show the correct answers to your students. Your students will not see if they were right or wrong, but they can compare you, their answer with your answer or the teacher's answer in the explanation. So I'm going to add something here. I can add an explanation or I can add an image. An image that just shows what your students could have, have answered. In this case, I'm going to select an image. It's an image of animal tracks, so students can see if they upload an image with tracks, they can see from what animal the tracks are. Then we can choose here the image size. Big is always a good idea, so students can really read it. Then I go back, and of course I can add an audio fragment, another image if I want to give an example, and I click on the scoring options to add the scoring weight. By default, this is one point on just adding the image for your students. Um, I think this is like a larger assignment, so I think my students should get five points on this one. And I go back and then I click on preview to see how this looks like for my students. So they have the question on top and then they can tap here on this icon to select an a picture. So if they click on it, a new window will open and they can choose the picture from their own computer. Then when I go down, I can click on show answers to see how this is graded. In this case, it's not automatically graded as I've said before, but I added an explanation. So my students should be able to see that explanation. The explanation comes like this. So this is actually what the teacher added. And this is something students can read, can take a look at, and can maybe compare their own image they just added to this question type and with um, the tracks here on this image. Of course, you can see that it's not graded because you have to give the grades afterwards when you enable students to submit their answer to the teacher and then just send back the feedback with the points if you really want to give points on this question type.